Hi everyone, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, I'm Tara Javidi, the director of the Schmidt AI in Science postdocs program at UC San Diego. I'm also uh, Jacob's family scholar and professor in electrical and computer engineering with an appointment in data science. And I'm Ilka Altentech, the associate director for education for the Schmidt AI in Science postdocs program. And I'm the chief data science officer at the San Diego Supercomputer Center and a fellow of College of Data Science Institute. So together, uh, as well with Julia Hoffman, our program coordinator, we're excited to talk about the Eric Wendy Schmidt AI in Science Postdoctoral Fellowship at UCSD. This is an innovative training program uh, aims to accelerate scientific progress by training our most promising and upcoming young scholars to integrate AI methods into the natural, biological, biomedical sciences and applied engineering. So what is the Schmidt AI in Science Postdoc program? So in 2022, UC San Diego was named by Schmidt Futures Foundation as one of nine sites worldwide to host the six-year postdoctoral fellowship program. The award came in uh, the recognition of UCSD as a premier uh, institution uh, at the cutting edge of AI scholarship um, and uh, training, as well as its faculty's uh, reputation for stellar and impactful cross-disciplinary research. The postdoctoral fellows are provided a competitive salary plus benefits for a two-year fellowship at UCSD. Each cohort consists of 10 fellows, and starting this fall, at any given time, we will be hosting 20 Schmidt AI and Science postdoctoral fellows at UCSD. This webinar is, in fact, marks the start of our next round of recruitment activities. We are currently recruiting our third cohort, who will start their postdoctoral appointment in October of 2024. The fellowship is designed uh, for PhDs in the more traditional non-AI, non-CS STEM fields who are interested in the integration of AI methods into their research in ways that they think would uh, significantly, uh, significantly advance the state of the art in their fields. Fellows are mentored by both the primary mentor or what we call their STEM PI and an AI co-mentor who advises on their AI methods use and training. However, I would like to emphasize that the primary mentor will be the one hosting the postdoc in their lab as PIs usually do. In this sense, we think of the postdocs are really being sponsored by their primary mentor. What we have found is that our postdocs prior exposure to AI is quite varied and have developed an individual, uh, individualized curriculum consisting of a combination of courses and training module with close mentorship by both an AI co-mentor and our very own associate director uh, for education. So what is the application process? Oops. Um, while postdocs are required to apply to the program directly, faculty sponsorship of their application by their primary mentor is essential to their application. This is a very important aspect of the program, which means that while it's possible that prospective applicants might contact faculty for nomination, uh, we would like to strongly encourage all of our UCSD faculty colleagues who are in a tradi traditional non-AI, non-CS field to reach out to the most promising candidates and rising star prospective fellows in their fields and encouraging them to apply. In all cases, applicants and their proposed primary mentor should work closely together on the application, particularly in developing the research proposal. The significance of the research project, as well as the promise and added value of AI methods and training to the project are the most important criteria in our selection committees for them to use. Uh, when applying, the candidate submits uh, their CV, a research proposal, and a diversity, equity, and inclusion statement. Once the application is submitted, an email will be sent to the faculty named as the sponsoring PI. 
informing them that they have been named as a prospective primary mentor and providing information on how to submit their letter of nomination. The letter of nomination is required, as usual, for a complete application. And uh, it is one of the most critical parts of our committee's evaluation of the significance of the pro proposed project and the potential value of AI training to the candidate science. In addition, uh, we are requiring two additional letters of recommendation and uh, starting recruitment uh, a year before the selected cohort starts their fellowship. Our applications open on September 1 and due on October 1, uh, with letters of the nomination in this case expected no later than October 8. Finalists are matched with AI co-mentors during the second round of reviews. We try to honor any request for particular AI co-mentors where feasible, uh, when feasible, based on program needs and faculty availability. So what makes a candidate, a person good candidate for a primary faculty mentorship? Um, so I hope by now it's very clear that postdocs will be appointed as postdoctoral scholars hosted in their STEM mentors lab at UCSD. And therefore, the primary STEM mentor in our program must have a full PI status at, UC status at UCSD. This is why we refer to STEM mentors as STEM PIs. There are three things to keep in mind regarding the expectations for PI supportive fellows. So while the program provides postdoctoral uh, postdocs with salary and benefits, AI training resources, and nominal professional development funds, really PIs are expected pro to provide the same level of mentorship and material support to their Schmidt AI and science postdocs than they would do to normally uh, to their uh, you know um, postdocs normally hosted in their uh, home lab. Uh, the, PIs should, uh, the PI's lab should also be set up for AI-integrated research. Um, and they should have the, you know, this might be that they should, ha they already have systems and storage and commuting re resources necessary for the proposed work. Or if they don't, the PIs must be willing to provide these funds for additional resources needed to support their candidates' um, success in making their research, um, in, in, should this candidate is awarded the fellowship. If during the application process, the candidate or prospective PIs uh, suggest someone as the candidate's AI co-mentor, please make it very clear whether this is just a wish list on your uh, side or you have reasons to believe that the, uh, the AI co-mentor has agreed to regularly mentor and collaborate with the postdoc. This really simplifies our life. We will also hold annual check-in meetings with all of the PIs, open events, and we welcome questions, feedback, suggestions along the way. So what makes an ideal Schmidt AI and Science postdoc candidate? An ideal candidate for the program is someone who will receive their PhD degree by the start of the fellowship within a field in biological, natural, or applied engineering sciences and who has a strong interest in integrating AI methods, first of learning about AI methods and integrating them into their fields. We especially welcome candidates of diverse backgrounds, and in general, candidates must have had fewer than three years of previous postdoctoral experience. We are particularly interested in candidates who have the potential to become leaders in pioneering use of AI in their fields, and who are interested in high risk, and high reward projects. This means that the applicants have an exciting vision as to how integration of AI into their research would move the needle on their discoveries or innovation in their fields. As we mentioned, we have seen a spectrum of AI skills among our postdocs, and this is expected. Uh, while some prior exposure to AI methodology is helpful, both to articulate the impact of AI methods in advancing their research, but also during their postdoc, applications will not be judged on that skill set. So what does a successful outcome look like for a Schmidt AI in science postdoc? 
as we have noted so far um, and what we have noted earlier, Schmidt Futures Foundation is looking for high risk, high reward projects and those uh, who are looking to push the boundaries of their um, discoveries and in innovation. Typical outcomes from the program would be one or more publications, at least in, in high, uh, highly visible journals, highly prestigious venues. Um, and these have to have, uh, these publications, these one of them have to have the AI co-mentor as a co-author or similar co-recognition of both the postdoc scholarship by metrics typical in their field as well as for their mentors. This could be, as I said, high publication, high impact publication, highly prestigious conference venue uh, presentations, invited talks, etc. So we expect our postdocs to take the lead on their communication with, the, with both their primary PI and AI co-mentor, arranging regular meetings, uh, for example. We're also keen uh, for our postdocs to grow as leaders in their fields and encourage them to make, take advantage of professional and career development opportunities provided to them. As Schmidt AI and science postdocs, they'll have ample opportunities to connect with the leaders in their field and in uh, AI, as well as the larger Schmidt Futures network. Uh, Schmidt Futures require regular reporting to the program, and to that end, we ask that our postdocs keep an open line of communication with us through their regular meetings, surveys, and other touch points. We would, like to, uh, we would like them to keep us appraised of their successes as well as challenges and provide regular feedback about their experience in the program during their time as fellows, but also as they progress in their um, progress. So at this point, we have several minutes for questions and we're also happy to answer individual questions via email. Our email address is listed there. Our website has extensive information on the program, including links to all the documents needed for the application. If you need any material to help you advertise the program in a talk, at a conference, et cetera, or you know, any other kind of venue, please reach out to us at schmidtai at ucsd.edu so I can send this to you. Specifically to our UCSD PIs and faculty, we believe our program is a unique resource to support your highest impact and game-changing research and that would benefit from integrating AI. We have structured the program to be inclusive and competitive, and we encourage you to identify, nominate, and or support potential candidates for the Schmidt AI and Science Postdocs program at UC San Diego. So um, there's a starting point I would say is on our website, we do list um, AI champions. Tara, I don't know if you wanted to. Yeah, uh, basically any colleague at UCSD, again, with a PI status uh, will be a, a great starting point. Uh, in fact, any colleague, I don't yeah. think for, for this we require any um, PI status. So any colleague at UCSD that you know of would be a good candidate to start with. If you don't know uh, people, um, there is a good list of folks who have already agreed to help us in the program. Those are uh, good starting points. We do not require an AI co-mentor to be listed in the application or the nomination process. So in case that is left empty, it is our job to sort of put our brain together, think of a list of PIs on, uh, or researchers on campus with the right skill sets and time to help the postdocs and we get them in touch and we sort of iterate on, on that assignment. Yeah. Um, so another question is the website says the fellow should have fewer than four years postdoc experience, but I think you said yes, uh, less than three. Yes, very, uh, very, uh, thank you for paying very close attention. So um, why, why we said less than uh, three is that uh, three years or less really typically is um, because it's a two year fellowship, we're erring on the side of uh, less than three years. Exceptions can be made for those with more than that, but definitely like we absolutely cannot um, have a postdoc who's, uh, who's had four years um, or more of, of postdoc experience. And this is due to uh, kind of University of California rules uh, related to how long a postdoc can, can be a postdoc. So I didn't want to say kind of earlier on to muddy the waters to say, you know, exceptions can be made. Um, but here I'm, I'm happy to say the Q&A. 
<laughs> so the rubric is so it's um, if you go down to the FAQ, um, there's a section for ap uh, applicants, um, and it lists it kind of in bullet points. So uh, candidates are evaluated on X, Y, and Z. Um, it's not necessarily a grid table, so it could be a little bit easy to miss at first. But um, yeah, they're they're the criteria on the website. And again, um, I cannot emphasize enough that the nomination letters, uh, as well as the research um, statements that the candidates send out, play a critical role in, uh, again, I just want to remind everyone, the foundation's interest is to really do research in ways that is breakthrough. So for them, they are supporting these nine sites, UCSD uh, as one of them, as a, as a way to really uh, push the frontier of science and discovery. So in that sense, your nomination letter, you really would, the more you can under, uh, underline why this is gonna be a very promising research direction, why conventional methods you believe are not um, you know, sufficient, th those are all like added values. So really um, to say why it's a really fantastic research project, but also why integrating mm -hmm. AI methods and training a postdoc in, in these additional methods is useful. Yeah, and another thing to emphasize is uh, the postdocs are actually evaluated by a subcommittee in their prospective fields uh, when they enter the postdoc. So there's an evaluation review uh, peer review process for the applications. Yes, yes that is very important. Um, no, not not any one person is seeing all of the files. We are not. We don't have the skill sets. So we have asked our colleagues, and I want to really, uh, especially thank the the AI champions and as well as the STEM uh, champions who are really uh, helping us with these process. Uh, the STEM champions have been identifying the candidates. Have been reviewing the candidates and also identifying colleagues who can help us. So it's been a, a very humbling experience, as the, but, but it is very true that we leave it to the experts. To, uh, to, so write your letters in ways that you convince experts, maybe not exactly in your field, but in, in a broad definition of uh, sister fields or related fields. Uh, question about, so the co-mentors are assigned during the process. Yes, true. Are co-mentors themselves invited by the uh, Schmidt, Schmidt Features Program? So um, it, so basically, we, yes, so it's kind of second stage uh, is that we're assigning the, the AI co-mentors and taking into account um, if they've been, if, if somebody has suggested someone. Um, so as the program, like we at UC San Diego, the program here, um, we then reach out to the AI mentors to confirm you know, one, do they know, are they aware of the program even? Because, that, and that's why we really ask for your help in terms of um, indicating, uh, are they aware, have you conversed with them about this program? Have you, you know, are they, um, have they agreed to be an AI mentor? Or did you just put a name down and it's totally brand new to them? Because then that, that shapes our message. So we'll, we'll write to them and say, um, here is the Schmidt AI and Science program. You've been identified. Here are the, um, expectations of AI commenters, you know, and uh, would you would you be interested? Or we'll write a really different message to those who uh, we have a sense already are aware of. They've agreed to it. Perhaps they've indicated it in their in a letter of rec as well. Um, we'll write a different message, just kind of confirming, um, or at least with a more con confirming kind of tone to say that um, they've been identified and do they agree? I don't know if you wanted to add anything else. It's, it's yeah. good. Does that answer the question? So it is, they will be invited, but in many cases, they will, the invitation is in form of confirmation. Thank you for agreeing uh, to do this. But yeah, so if you are, if this is totally, you know, you just found a name and it looks like they're a good fit from the website, but you've never interacted, then that's all the better to, to say so to us. So then we know exactly the, the right tone to strike when we're um, inviting them to become an AI, AI mentor. And uh, just one last thing is that the AI commenters will, we expect them and the foundations uh, expect them to be 
real participants in your project. So I think a success story for uh, for this program is if we have the AI mentors work closely with the STEM mentors. So even after the postdocs are trained, we hope these networks are really the added value for the campus. Um, so think of them uh, the same way that you think of uh, collaborations. You know, uh, we need to find the right person in terms of skill set, but also in terms of time commitments and yeah. being available and and uh, being in a regular conversation with with you and your postdoc. And in uh, some cases, they could also be letter providers uh, awesome. in the application. Mm -hmm. That's helpful for us to see. To, to see that they're excited about mm -hmm. the project. Yeah. For sure. So final question is, can letter, um, can letter providers be an industry? Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. There's no constraint mm -hmm. on the, require, uh, the, the required additional references. Um, just remember the host has to be a PI at mm -hmm. UCSD for it to be able to host a postdoc, any postdoc, and this is what we're learning. So that's the only critical constraint. Other than that, the letters should just be the best provide and the best best reference to provide us a good perspective of the value of the research. And the one last uh, point to all of our colleagues: uh, please, uh, you know, have the program in mind. I think the strength of the program is the uh, the. Uh, you know, is just increase with you making it competitive and go out. This is a fairly um, visible position. So try to use it to your advantage to recruit candidates that are top notch and stellar. This is the right season. We have material uh, for you if you, you know, if you think it's helpful to put a you know, a slide in your talks or, or whatnot, this is the right season to have these candidates apply and, and support and nominate them. And, you know, a good thing to let the postdocs know is um, they become part of a network of postdocs globally. And Schmidt also uh, is planning on creating a network in the long term. So there are nine institutions globally who will have 20 postdocs annually on this program. So each cohort becomes a part of those 180-ish postdocs. And, and some of the colleagues like me might have not been familiar with Schmidt Futures Foundation. And they are really visionary in this space and this program is, is gonna really provide the postdocs an amazing platform. Um, and, and you have worked with them. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ilkay has worked with them quite a bit. So I think this is a very great uh, selling point. So. At this point, I really want to appeal to all of my colleagues to use the program to your advantage and send us the best nominations and the best uh, uh, stars. And I really hope this will help our campus to advance our uh, mutual name recognition yeah. and, and the great research we are all doing on campus.